After watching that music video, I'm not gonna lie, I might have to burn my teddy bear. So, it's been about three months since I talked about the rebrand of Jojo Siwa, and since then, a lot of things have happened. And by a lot of things, I mean a lot of drinking. This is me with my first drink. <laughs> <laughs> We're in China! It's my ninth drink, my thirteenth drink, and I'm going. Jojo reminds you of that one kid at those family dinners who convinces himself that they're drunk because they were told that the pasta they ate was cooked using vodka. For real though, how do you go from the rainbow bubbly personality, a girl who blew up from Dance Mom, and someone who many young kids looked up to, to doing this? Well, it is clear that Jojo has transitioned into a bad girl because she is now touching herself on stage. As you can tell by her cringy obsession with drinking, Jojo recently turned 21, meaning that she's a legal adult and free to do what she wants. And she's really abusing that freedom because drinking alcohol and touching yourself on stage, a place where there's likely to be many children, is fishy to say the least. So because of that video, Jojo recently underwent a lot of backlash. What happened was that she was hosting a concert at a Pride event. Actually, can you even call it a concert when the microphone is solely being used as a prop? she holds while a recording of her song is being played. And when she does decide to finally scream something into that mic, it's heavily auto-tuned. But Jojo received a lot of backlash for the way that she was behaving due to the fact that many of her fans and many of the people even at the concert are just children. Now in Jojo's defense, you could argue that the parents who took their kids to the concert should be the one getting the heat. But then again, it's kind of hard to decide what Jojo, after hearing her say this. Where is that six year old right there? Why the f are you here? I love it! This was a pride event, and to my knowledge, they're supposed to be for all ages. So touching yourself in front of countless children is not only disgusting, but also increases the stigma associated with these types of events. She went from being a child star, having a lot of child fans, to being her only fan and humping everything in her way. So, there is no question that Miley Cyrus is a huge inspiration of Jojo Siwa. Her debut song, Karma, was originally intended for Miley about a decade ago until the rights were given to an artist named Brit Smith. And once the internet found this out, they were blasting Jojo for allegedly stealing Karma. I did make two videos talking about the situation, but Brit's version was unreleased up until Jojo released hers and people demanded for Brit to release it. And what's ironic is that Brit not only released it, but her version actually surpassed Jojo's on iTunes Top 100. I guess you could say Karma really is a bitch. So because Jojo's Karma performed absolutely incredible, Jojo decided to release an EP titled Guilty Pleasure. And it makes sense, the internet hates her in a way that becomes sort of entertaining. It's our guilty pleasure. So Jojo's new music video is for her song titled Guilty Pleasure, which is her title track, meaning that it has to be good. And you'd expect that after getting all the backlash for Karma that she'd at least produce some originality, but nope, she continues to copy other artists. Will it just be a fad, something that's only popular for a short period of time, or will she have a career in music? Based on Karma, I would definitely say no, but she released some new music and a new music video, so let's see if she listened to the feedback. So without further ado, buckle your seatbelts and maybe put on some safety goggles because things are about to get dangerous. Don't lie to me, black you don't like this. I know you see me when you close your eyes. Yeah, after what I had to witness in Karma, I see you in my nightmares. So essentially what's happening in the beginning of the music video is that a bunch of crazed fans are begging Jojo to take their money. This person here holds up what I think is supposed to be a bow as Jojo reminisces her past, a past we definitely all miss. Won't you stop Bro, what is going on? Why is that bear touching itself? Why is that bear humping the ground? But more importantly, why is Jojo humping herself? Nah, this is not the Build-A-Bear workshop that I remember. Someone really commented, there's ants in my pants, ah dance. Bro, really meant I'ma be coming back like a boomerang because she really thinks she got a boomerang in her pants with the way she be humping everything she sets her eyes on. I'm your guilty pleasure, so come and get it, get it. No, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. That's nasty. Bro, nah, this is Imagine a 10 year old fan of Jojo Siwa stumbling upon their music video until their eyes have to be exposed to this. Oh, hell no! I'm not even halfway through the music video, but this already exceeds the level of cringe and the level of insanity that Karma was at. Take it or take it. Make it move. 
And now she's a construction worker. Great. Maybe she can work on fixing my brain because I can no longer look at my teddy bear the same. Bro, you got some explaining to do, okay? And guys, the whole, I, I swear the whole is, is not what it looks like. The internet's reaction to the costume designs are not good. You read comments and you'll see people saying things like, this video gives me predatory vibes and it really disturbs me. I am all about rebrand, but this looks like the sexualization of children. And I couldn't agree more. The fact that JoJo has a lot of child fans, touches herself in front of her child fans, and is now sexualizing children's toys, it's just not a good look. And let's keep in mind that it was not too long ago that Balenciaga went under backlash for this ad featuring a child holding a particular type of teddy bear. I don't know what was going on with JoJo and her team's head, but this is just not a good look. Anyways though, let's keep watching. Pleasure. Bob the Builder would not approve. She really turned Bob the Builder into Bob the Stripper. To my knowledge, JoJo's definitely never worked a regular 9 to 5, and based on these skills, definitely never worked a real construction job. So it comes as no surprise that people are upset with JoJo for making a mockery of it. But what you should be upset about is that JoJo continues to showcase her incredible ability at stealing other people's work. So there's a rock band named Tool. They're pretty popular and have quite a bit of streams on their music. So here's a list of logos that the band has used throughout the years. Now, I want y'all to take a good look. Does anything seem familiar to you? Well, you see the wrench that sort of looks like, uh, you know, Pen 15. Well, it turns out that shocker, JoJo still has no originality of her own, so she had to take the design that she used for the merch from the band Tool. Yup, this is Tool's logo that they used in 1991. Yikes, I'd like for her to explain that one. I know what jazz you crazy. Could be your baby. Oh my god, I never expected for the day to come, but it is here. It is finally here. Jojo Siwa rapping. But why does she sound like a fifth grader at a middle school talent show? What is even going on right now? Like, what is all of that? I feel like I'm watching a parody of The Exorcist. I didn't think it was possible to see so much humping in one music video. Jojo was like if Thanos had a humping addiction and instead of collecting Infinity Stones, got busy with everything in his way. <laughs> Someone call TLC because that is one strange addiction to have. Anyway, so there's about another 30 seconds of the music video, but personally, I'm good. This is definitely a much, much weirder music video than Karma. To be blunt, I don't like the music video. I think it's weird, cringe, and just wrong for many reasons. But as for the actual song, I will say that it is a slight improvement from Karma. Now keep in mind that JoJo also released several other songs. One of them being Choose Your Fighter, which I actually don't mind. It is a pretty good song, but my problem with it is that it sounds too much like Emmeline. When you The song was originally Emmeline's until JoJo's team bought the song from her, but the internet is having a tough time hearing the difference between JoJo's version and Emmeline's version. Now another song that JoJo released is titled Yesterday's Tomorrow's Today, which honestly I don't like. That song is just messy, sounds like it was made for kids bop, and I'm not a fan. But I will say that there is one good thing about the song, I'm not sure if y'all heard her sing Traitor. Well if you didn't, take a listen, it was a complete disaster and she was getting clowned for it. <laughs> But I want y'all to listen to her vocals here. I gotta give it to Jojo. Hitting that high note is huge improvement or just vocal editing. But I saw a comment that said, keep farting, keep living. And after reading that, I just can't hear this part of the song the same anymore. Now, the final song that Jojo released is called Balance Baby. And as an EDM fan, <sighs> I hate to admit that it's actually pretty good. This is probably my favorite part of the song. The song is not terrible at all, and according to Genius, Jojo took part in the writing process, which to me is incredibly important. I found a comment on one of her videos which really sums it up. You are not an artist. An artist puts work into their art. You just put your name. And I couldn't agree more. I don't care if artists do this all the time. Art is supposed to come from the heart. But buying songs and hiring people to do absolutely everything for you proves nothing more than how much money you got. But as it is, Jojo is just a rich influencer who, because of her money, is being spoon-fed success. Anyway, guys, 
that's officially gonna do it for my video. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I wanna know your thoughts on the music video, the EP, and just Jojo Siwa in general. Do you think she has potential in the music industry? Leave a comment down below and let me know. But anyways, that's officially gonna do it for this video. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.